Hey guys, how's it going? It's Etanius here. Welcome to episode number 19 of this NHL 22 Minnesota Wild Franchise Mode. If you guys have missed any episodes up to this point, I suggest you head up into that top corner of the video, click the card, and there will be a link to the playlist. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to go down below, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on the notification bell to never miss these uploads. But today we get into round number four, the Stanley Cup Finals against none other than the all-time champions, Montreal Canadiens, who just always seem to win a cup, it seems like. But, <sighs> they get one every decade, I swear. But, this team is in such good shape right now, with guys like Matt Bamichkov, Jagger Folino, and Marat Kusnadinov, who, again, we've we've had some trade talk here about Kusnadinov. Um, he very well might be on his way out, simply because when you look at the remainder of our contracts on this team for all our star players... Nobody over nine and a half million, apart from Capper's all there's nine point five five. So like the fact that we can have one, two, three, four, five, six ninety rated players on this team that are all under nine million bucks each makes it so much easier to actually manage the salary cap. It's it's insane how good this team is, and I'm sure Jesper Wolstead's gonna start shooting up here quickly too. I mean, he's six wins in six games. He is quite literally undefeated in the playoffs here. So we'll see what he can do now that he's back and healthy. And of course, we are taking on a pretty solid Montreal Canadiens team. I think we looked at them last episode, but I can't actually remember. And yeah, this is the team we're looking at. I mean, Austin Matthews, 28 points in 15 games. He is absolutely carrying this team right now. Um, but what do you expect, right? Like they've got, uh, never mind. They've got some really good players in here. Caulfield's playing amazing. Suzuki's playing great. There's, there's lots of guys that are making this happen for Montreal. It's not like they're really just getting carried by Austin Matthews out of all honesty. There are some, some really good players in here and they're not injured either. Primo has won 12 out of 15. So that's a pretty insane, uh, insane record for him as well. And for a seventh round goalie, but Let's see if the Canadians meet their match today. I mean, Montreal finished where exactly in the standings? I want to say, like, 13th or something like that, but I might be wrong. They did. They finished exactly 13th. That was a good guess. Wow, I did not know. So, <laughs> yeah, that was that was really good. All right, so here we go. We're going to get into this. We're going to sim game by game, and let's see how it goes. So, game one, I mean, we, sh we have home ice advantage. Doesn't mean it's going to mean anything, but... First period, it's a 2-1 game. Goals from Michkov and Kovanov. Um, Brendan Gallagher gets a goal there for Montreal and one out of just six shots. Second period, it's a 3-2 game. Why is Stuart Skinner in net? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Why is Skinner in net? I don't understand this. He should not be in net over Wallstead. But we're down 3-2 after the second. And uh, make it 3-3. Matthew Boldy on the power play. That is a huge goal for the Minnesota Wild. Make it a 4-3 game for Svechnikov. As he scores, um, again, a low-end kind of liner there for Montreal getting a goal. 40 shots, boys. Put a puck in the net. Come on. And no, nope, it's not going to happen. We lose that game 4-3 on 42 shots. Okay. Not our best performance this playoffs. We've definitely had better. You know what? Skinner should not be in net. I don't... Or wait, hold on. Is Wallstead out? Oh, he is. Shoot. Okay. I thought Wallstead was in. My bad, guys. I'm sorry. I was like, why is Skinner in net? I was, like, enraged, and he's out till July 2nd, so it doesn't even matter anyways. Like, the, this is literally the team we have to take to the cup final. So, terrible first sim, but I know we can do better. So, let's see if we can get our top lines rolling here. First period of game two, it's a 1-0 lead. Again, a goal from Matt Vamichkov. Second period, 2-0 lead. Third period, it's a 3-0 win as Kusnadinov gets the final goal there. And Michkov with two points on the night is fantastic, and Skinner shows up. So, 1-1 Stanley Cup Finals. We split our home games, which is not spectacular, but as we head into game number three in Montreal, we start off down 2-1 in the first period. Goals from Gallagher and Radulov. Zilkin gets our only goal on just one out of nine shots. Second period, tie it up 2-2. Gavin Hunt, there you go. And it's a close game here. Two goals apiece. We'll see if Montreal is going to be the better team here today or if our Minnesota Wild are really going to show up and take away a home game here for Montreal. But they're getting lots of shots. Like Montreal is getting an insane amount of shots. It's actually not good. 
and down to the final minute or so here, Montreal on the power play, and we're going to head to overtime. So, in OT of game number three, how is the simulation treating us? Power play Minnesota, are you kidding me? We just gave up a shorty? Oh, that's not okay. All right, we lose the game 3-2. <sighs> that was bad. That was actually really poor from a team that has been otherwise pretty fantastic throughout the playoffs so far. So down 2-1, we're chasing this series because of injuries, and we've got to get in front of the Canadians here. So first period of game four, make it a 1-0 lead. Montreal Michkov again scores. Second period, 2-0, a goal from Jagger Foligno. And up 2-0, I mean, we're chasing the series still, but if we can hold on to this lead, we will be tied and have the opportunity to try and go ahead. Make it 2-1, Brendan Gallagher. Power play for Montreal. Doesn't convert. That's good. All right, let's get some more shots, boys. I would love to make this a 3-1 lead. And down to the final minute or so here, and... Looks like we are going to beat the Canadians 2-1 in Game 4. A very tight win for the Minnesota Wild, but we will take it. The goalie's getting the stars of the game there. No surprise at all. All right. Michkov is 1.5 points per game in the playoffs. He has been amazing for us, but as we head into Game 5, we need a big performance here from all of our players. So first period, it's 0-0. We're out shooting them 9-7. Second period, it's still 0-0. Okay, so this is where I am going to hop in. I mean, Michkov and Matthews are both just playing at such insane levels that it's going to be fun to watch. Like, these guys are just going to be doing their thing, being absolute superstars. And we'll see how good these snipers really are. All right, so here we go. You can hear the fans. They are absolutely cheering on the wild right now, but uh, this should be an interesting game. Oh, Radulov just takes a nice old hit there. All right, Erickson looking for a play, finds Weller. Weller up to Felino, over to Michkov. He cuts in, gets tied up. Erickson looking for Michkov. He's got like two guys draped all over him there. All right, Matthew's going to play the dump and chase. Interesting tactic, but okay. Here we go. Michkov's got room now. He's going to spin off of the check. Loses it. Oh, it's still loose there. And we're hammering away at it. Felino can't quite get it, though, with his crease crasher. Oh, and we're going to go. Romanov and Felino. I mean, of course they're going to take that fight, but Romanov's going to probably get concussed here. Just sit down, Romanov. You're you're not as big, not as mean. You might be a Russian, but uh, Jagger Foligno is an absolute beast. So there you have it. We uh, we will take the extra little energy boost here and there, and uh, yeah, we ought to take that in the playoffs. So it's a very close game here. Zero goals each. Let's see if anybody can break the deadlock here as we get Boldy out on our first line. All right, so Weller over to Boldy. He's going to tee one up and just misses it. But Erickson catches his guy out. Oh, my God, Erickson almost walked right through everybody there. Great stick lift, though, too. And a bad pass, unfortunately, there. All right, Matthew's now trying to walk through everybody. Matvey Michkov going to peel off of him, and he's going to take off. Here comes Michkov up the middle. Matvey Michkov tries to evade the check there. He picks off the puck. Michkov back to the point to Weller. Over to Erickson. He's going to fire. It goes off the shin pad. Oh, he still played it out of bounds. Come on. All right. Well, good try there from Erickson. Didn't quite work. All right. Here goes Michkov again. Matvey Michkov drags it in. Great chance. Oh, my God. That's loose. Oh, what is going on right now? Michkov is creating so many chances. All right, now Caulfield playing it up the wall. Almost gets picked off there. All right, Erickson up the middle to Shaw. Shaw over to Felino, right in front. Oh, Marcus Felino scores! That puck takes an absolute pinball off of probably about four different players on its way to going into the net. 
but Marcus Foligno, the captain, gets us on the board in Game 5 on what was a very strange chance. He actually does poke it here, and it, oh man, man, Primo's got to be kicking himself after that one. That one's rough, and we take the one goal lead on what probably shouldn't have even been a chance. So there you have it, Shaw, Erickson, and Felino combined for the opener. All right, here comes Kaprizov now. Kirill Kaprizov cuts in. Good chance. It's loose still. Boldy almost picked it off. And Pulyar coming down the wall looking for a pass. He's going to send it across. They're going to keep going back and forth here to try and get in, but we turn it over. Lambos up to Boldy. Matthew Boldy down the wall. He's going to cut in. Wind up, shoot, rebound, and Kovanov gets on the end of it. Make it 2 nothing, just like that. And this wild team is very good, so not really many surprises there. I mean, Kovanov is requesting so much money, it's unfortunate. But but yeah, just a really easy Kaprizov gets the first whack at it, and Kovanov cleans it up. Make it 2 nothing for the Minnesota Wild. All right, face off here, fourth line against their third. Moy's gonna lose it. Terrible player changing. Okay. Oh, that's a big hit there. All right, LeCatelier finds Oduya, who's gonna just wheel this one up. Nice pass into Krajicek. He can't quite get around his guy. Now Jakob Krajicek chasing the puck down. They play it up to Dvorak. Oh, bad pinch. Oh, Skinner, good save. Oh, LeCadlier, you don't want to go. Oh, Lambos and Pique. Pique? I don't know how else you say his name. All right, pretty even fight up to this point. Oh, and Lambos throws a big, big punch there. That's what we like to see. All right. Not bad, not bad. And, uh, no, that's a really good fight, actually, so. Whew, Skinner still kind of holding on for us here, but, uh, face off now. Five on five still, but, uh, it's going to go back to Lindell. Lindell sends a beautiful pass up to Zilkin. Zilkin over to Felino, crisscrossing. Marcus Felino cuts in, tries to wire the shot off, can't do it. Shaw picks it up right out in front to Felino. That was a great chance. And Felino picks it off for Shaw. Shaw looking for a play. He gets poked there, and this one's going to go out. So Lindell now up to Zilkin. Zilkin coming down the wall, tries to make the move, can't do it, but does get by his guy. Danny Zilkin still in the battle here. He's going to kick this one around to Felino over to Hunt. Gavin Hunt gets knocked off the puck there. So does Felino. Man, that was interference. Oh, Sunquist. Lucky that pass didn't go through. All right, Montreal really putting on the pressure now. Sunquist, a good try there. Michkov gets into the battle and wins it. Lindell right out in front. Great chance there. But Skinner is up to the task. Now Kuznodinov. Oh, Anderson gets bumped there pretty good. Oh, that was a bad pass. Erickson kind of loses it. Oh, Kuznodino, move your feet, buddy. Come on. When you get skating, you're fine. Okay, Wyden, nice one. Yeah, yeah, that was realistic. Pulls it right through my guy's legs. Here we go. Okay, come on, man. Call the fucking hook. Jesus, this is ridiculous already. There's another one. Holy... Oh, that was too many men as well. Man, Montreal's really pushing here. Oh, we just got a hook for that? I don't think so. Jeez! Okay. Oh, no, never mind. It's an empty net. Okay. Okay, where's the charge on that one? Come on. Kaprizov ain't missing that. Bye-bye, Montreal. I'm not even dealing with that after that 
brutal charge, but we'll take it. We win game five, and we're headed back to Montreal with our shot at the Stanley Cup. I mean, to be fair, we got a couple fluky goals there. Um, our second line really went to work. Do we actually have players that are healthy now? What's that like? Oh my goodness, we got Marco Rossi back in the lineup. That's exciting. All right. Let's toss Rossi right back in on that first line because they've been electric when they're actually playing. Sexton is almost healthy. And yeah, all right. Whew, I like how the team's looking. And with Rossi back in the lineup, I think we stand a really good chance. So you know what? We're playing on Superstar. I'm going to jump in and play the full three period game six because I think that this is probably going to be Minnesota's first Stanley Cup. So here you have it, game six of the Stanley Cup Finals at the Bell Center. One team facing elimination tonight, the other just potentially 60 minutes away from a Stanley Cup. Let's see who's gonna have the upper hand tonight as we are underway here in game six of the Stanley Cup Finals. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so shaking off that last loss um, is a pretty bad one, but we're going to jump in, and it's game seven. Winner takes all, and we'll see what happens here. I mean, should be an interesting game. Our offense and defense is the best in the league, and let's see if the goaltending can actually show up tonight in Stuart Skinner. So here you have it, game seven, Stanley Cup Finals. Both teams, one win away. Who is going to get it tonight? We'll see. All right, so we are underway here. Let's see what happens as Montreal is immediately going to walk in and try to create something. Matthews over to Romanov. Radulov out in front to Matthews, and he immediately scores. Give me a break. That's superstar. That is superstar for you right there. What a ridiculous goal. Probably shouldn't be in the net, but Stuart Skinner's also a sieve, so... Well, that was a fantastically horrible shift to start things off. Not even a minute in, and we're down one nothing. Oh, there's a hook. There's a hook if I've ever seen one. Give me a break already. Give me a break. Where's the... Like, let's go back and watch this, okay? Just to specify, look at this. Look at this. Weller is beat. He's gone around the guy. That's a hook right there. And then it's interference, too, to cause the interception. Like, I'm just, I'm not going to commentate until we're tied up, okay? Because I'm not giving Montreal another goal, but I'm also not even, it's not even worth commentating the amount of BS that I'm watching right now. So, sorry guys, but, you know, if the game's not going to be fun, I'm not going to be fun. It's fucking Caulfield, he's not going to do shit with the puck. He's tiny. There you go, Le Cavalier. Took us the whole period, but Emmanuel Le Cavalier is the player that gets us on the board out of all of our talented scorers. <sighs> Great pass, finally connects. Like, man, just should not have taken that long, and it does because Montreal plays the most boring style of hockey. They sit back, sit back, sit back, sit back, try to defend as soon as they get one goal. It's just disgusting. It's terrible for hockey. It's not exciting, so. Anyways, that's what we're dealing with. Alright, so a pretty terrible first period, to be completely honest. But um, we're just going to keep hitting these guys hard. And we're going to see some differences here in the second period. They shouldn't have had 15 shots, but they got 6 plus minutes of power play. So, here we go. Second period is underway. And, um, yeah, the amount of penalties that we took in the first is just bad. So... Take a seat, Romanov. You want to keep rushing the puck like that, buddy? It's going to hurt. Rossi, great chance to Michkov. There it is. That's what the first line magic is looking like. That's what it's supposed to look like. So, yeah, great start to the second period here. We tie it up. Michkov gets his 15th, 
And yeah, Marco Rossi sends him right to the paint, close quarters, Mishkov isn't going to miss from there. And yeah, just an absolute needle of a pass. That's great. So, Alright, 2-2. Two, two. Rossi from, or Mishkov from Rossi, and we are tied up here, so... Alright, Mechkov back to Erickson, over to Weller, he's going to tee one up and just miss it. Alright, Mechkov off the wall, that deflection almost went our way there. Chance in front, good try. Boldy getting tied up, can't quite find Rossi on the back door. Marco Rossi, beautiful goal. That's those elite edges, and he just absolutely goes to work in front of the net. Skates right around three Montreal defenders, and... There's the momentum change, and there is the better team. Like, just, oh, it's not even close. All right, two shots, two goals, and we are ahead just like that. All right, so after the second period, the tide turns in Minnesota's favor as we throw some huge body checks, have a fight, and Marco Rossi, the assist to himself off the boards and just puts the elite edges to work. So, three, two, we limit Minnesota, or sorry, Montreal, to just three shots in the period there. So, that's a huge second period for Minnesota that changes the tide. Let's see if we can hold on now. Lambos could play over to Felino. Marcus Felino looking for a play. Rebound right there. Zilkin scores on the rebound. That's why I threw it to the net. I saw him going for it. And we're up 4 2. Danny Zilkin gets an absolutely clutch goal here for Minnesota to start off the third period. And uh, yeah, couldn't have come at a better time. But that's just Marcus Felino getting pucks on net. And a big fat rebound, and we are able to bury it. So. That's a huge goal. That is absolutely massive. So let's see if we can keep this going here. Up 4-2 now. Let's see. All right, Marcus Felino coming down the wall. Good shot. Ah, oh, and he trips him. Oh, that's a... Seriously, that just went in the net. Josh Anderson scores from, like, an absolutely ridiculous angle, and it's a 4-3 game. I'm so glad we got that other goal now. But man, that's, uh, Montreal's not lying down. I don't like it. So 4-3 game. We're absolutely still um, in a close one here with eight minutes left, but Montreal is not going away. So, okay, there's a good save from Skinner. Oh, come on, man. Come on. It's so weak. And it's my stupid defenders who can't freaking pivot and skate. Go figure. What does Brian Sexton do? Runs into the corner, runs himself into the boards. Shit. Alright, 4-4 game. Talk about giving up a freaking lead. Two goal difference. Bye, Caulfield. Look at Montreal sitting three guys deep. Like, that's gross. Alright, here comes Boldy. Matthew Boldy tries it. All right, Bryant Sexton coming down the wall. Great pass to Moy. He had so much net to shoot at there. All right, Sexton from the point. Hammers one off of his guy. Jakob Krajicek looking around. Sexton going to fire again. Weird bounce. Pass in front. Krajicek, 22 seconds left. Jakob Krajicek comes up clutch. Oh, my God. There is 22 seconds left in Game 7. Oh my god, the fourth line goes to work, and Krajicek gets absolutely laid out, but that's it, Montreal's done. You cannot give up a goal that late and expect to win. <sighs> that's going to be it, that is going to be the decider as long as we can defend. Oh, we let Anderson skate. We are sitting way back, but the cup is out here. I'm sure it is, yeah. 
All right, they put their first line out, who is really, really gassed. But there's just 11 seconds left here, so that's a huge face-off win. That's it. And Minnesota will get their first ever Stanley Cup. Stuart Skinner, an unlikely hero, but uh, makes enough saves to get us past the Canadians. And Beach Cobb wins the Conn Smythe, go figure. Sorry, there's somebody cutting with like a sawzall upstairs, so that's why my uh, my sound will keep cutting in and out here, but uh, oh, let's go. Let's freaking go. Marcus Foligno, the captain of the wild with the commissioner, gets to lift Lord Stanley. There you have it. Gavin Hunt gets the cuff second. Okay. I don't entirely agree with that, but okay. So there you have it, Stanley Cup Champions.